Hey guys, you remember about two months ago, the management of Target came out and they said that they were going to allow transgendered people to use the restrooms of their choosing. If you were a man and you identified as a woman, then you would be able to use a women's restroom. And if you were a woman and you identified as a man, then you'd be able to use the men's restroom. And many of us came out at the time and we said that this was going to be an absolute disaster because this was opening the doors for children to be abused or for deviant behavior to take place in these restrooms. And for those of us who spoke out, whether it was on YouTube or um, to our friends or family or whatever, many of us, of course, were called um, hate mongers. We were called religious fanatics and, and all sorts of names. And we were accused of um, trying to find a problem where there was no problem and trying to um, basically say that the sky is falling and everything else. And they ridiculed us and they mocked us. And um, it didn't take very long before what we said was going to happen actually did happen. Um, you know, this came over the news yesterday about this, uh, about this gentleman, this man right here who was busted um, in a woman's restroom. Um, the story is very straightforward. It's a very short story, but it just goes to show exactly what we said was going to happen, has happened, it has taken place. I'm going to read this very, very quickly. As I said, it's a very short story, but it goes straight to the heart of the matter. And it, um, it proves exactly what we said was going to happen. It says, the headline says, Transgender woman arrested in voyeurism incident at Idaho Target. Then it goes on to say, An Idaho man who told police he identifies as a woman was arrested Tuesday after allegedly taking photos of a woman in a Target fitting room, officials said. Sean Patrick Smith, 43, was allegedly dressed in women's clothing when he entered the fitting room in the women's section of the store in Ammon on Monday, East Idaho News reported. Smith, also known as Shauna Patricia Smith, then began taking pictures of a woman in the changing stall next to him, police said. The woman was begging for help as she chased the man out the door, a witness told East Idaho News. She kept saying she wanted those pictures deleted. Detectives found Smith on Tuesday and charged him with one felony count of voyeurism. He was booked into the Bonneville County Jail and was set to make a court appearance Wednesday. Target announced in April that transgender team members and guests were welcome to use the restroom or fitting room facilities that corresponds with their gender identity. And this is what has happened. This is what has taken place. Surprise, surprise, surprise. This pervert dressed as a woman um, goes into a woman's restroom and then starts taking pictures of this woman. And of course, um, basically all hell um, ensued after that. Um, surprise, surprise, surprise. We said it was going to happen, and it happened. You know, this just reminds me, of course, of what Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20, where it says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. We are a nation, we are a world, actually, that's gone absolutely insane. We've gone mad. Um, the lunatics have literally taken over the asylum, and we're living in it. We're living in their madness. And um, more of this is going to take place in the future. Trust me on this. This is not the last that we're going to hear of this kind of madness. We're going to hear more about this. And um, we said it was going to happen, and it has taken place. Um, God help us. Okay, God help this country, because as I said, the lunatics have taken over the asylum, and it's only going to get worse, as we said, and I, I really do fear for this country and what we have turned into. Not what we are turning into, but what we have turned into. Um, it, it's insane, but more of this is to be expected, all right? Um, well, that's it for me. I, that, that's all I've got. It, the story speaks for itself, and as I said, um, I just wanted to bring it to your attention, and more of this kind of foolishness and this kind of wickedness is going to happen, is going to take place in the future. All right? So um, that's it for me. Take care, guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.